swords are no more use here. Wielder of the flame of Arnor. Dark fire will not avail you, flame of Uldun! Go back to the shadow! Listen carefully, Midas. Xerxes conquers and controls everything he rests his eyes upon. He leads an army so massive it shakes the ground with its march, so vast it drinks the rivers dry. All the God King Xerxes requires is this, a simple offering of earth and water, a token of Sparta's submission to the will of Xerxes. Now that's a bit of a problem. See, rumor has it the Athenians have already turned you down. And if those philosophers and uh, boy lovers have found that kind of nerve... Then... We must be diplomatic. And of course, Spartans have their reputation to consider. Choose your next words carefully, Leonidas. They may be your last as king. Madman. For a madman. Earth and water. But you'll find plenty of both down there. No man. Persian or Greek, no man threatens a messenger. You bring the crowns and heads of conquered kings to my city steps. You insult my queen. You threaten my people with slavery and death. Oh, I've chosen my words carefully, Persian. Perhaps you should have done the same. This is blasphemy. This is madness. Madness. This is Sparta! It's all fuzzy. He can't feel the neck. See? You wanted me. Here I am. I wanted to see what you'd do. And you didn't disappoint. You let five people die. Then, you let Dent take your place. Even to a guy like me, that's cold. Where's Dent? Those mob fools want you gone so they can get back to the way things were. But I know the truth. There's no going back. You've changed things. Forever. And why do you want to kill me? <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to kill you. What would I do without you? Go back to ripping off mob dealers? No, no. No. 